Hey guys, I want to tell you a quick story. The other night, I'm at the dinner table and I asked my teenage daughter, please pass the salad. She looks at me funny and she says, Dad, why are you yelling at me? And I'm <laughs> confused and irritated. I look at her and my wife and back at her, I'm like, I'm not yelling at you. And I look back at my wife for confirmation, like, hey, back me on this one. And my wife's like nodding and smiling and saying, eh, actually, honey, you kind of are. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, it resonates loud and clear for me and it happens more than I'd like. The problem is, for years, I didn't take proper care of my hearing on the job site. Hearing loss impairs quality of life. It also increases our risk of injury. Every year, thousands of construction workers suffer from hearing loss from excessive noise on the job site. According to the CDC, one in eight U.S. workers have some sort of hearing loss. The construction industry is second, it comes in second in terms of the most hearing impaired workers. OSHA even determined safe working levels or noise levels and they made recommendations that uh, to provide specific ear protection devices when within certain sound levels and they have that level at 85 decibels or above. Well, the fact of the matter is job sites are noisy. Trucks, jackhammers, impact drivers are all noisy tools. I want to talk to you quickly about the Milwaukee Fuel Surge hydraulic impact driver. Milwaukee did some research, their field research, and they determined that they could reduce their impact driver's noise by shifting from impact driver, the standard impact driver technology they use today, to hydraulic technology. <clears throat> this, there's a whole bunch of other manufacturers doing this now, but hydraulic drivers are quieter and more compact. And their powertrain, because it's hydraulic fluid, actually reduces that metal on metal impact and has less wear and tear on the tool, but more importantly, less vibration. The hydraulic driver, 50% less noise at 76 decibels, not 85, 76 decibels, well below what OSHA is recommending. When we used this, our first impression though wasn't how quiet it was, it was how smooth it was, and that's the less vibration, I think. Quiet was only really noticed later when we compared the two tools side by side with the 2753 standard impact driver. Milwaukee's research also showed that 90% of impact driver fastening in most trades across the boards was for screws and medium sized fasteners and lags six to eight inches long. <clears throat> Based on that research, Milwaukee designed the Surge Hydraulic Driver for that 90% clientele, basically. Milwaukee also is seeing or forecasting that this technology is going to overtake traditional impact driving. The Surge has a longer sustained torque. And what I mean by that, well, first of all, before I even get into that, one of the fears in, that I have and Milwaukee has is that people are going to look at the, the Surge because it has a lower inch per pound torque. And, and the standard and say, oh, I want the more powerful torque one. Well, bigger isn't better here. It's, it's a perception. You have to understand that the surge is 2.1 pounds. It has 450 inch per pounds of sustained longer torque that delivers equal or faster driving speed than the standard 2752, which has 1800 inch per pounds of torque. And remember, this is for medium to small fasteners. <clears throat> So the 1800, the standard impact driver, it delivers these high 18, like I said, 1800 in inches per pound, high peaks of torque, goes way up high, but then dips way down below the surge. The key with the surge is it delivers 450 almost consistently across the board. It has a little dip, but way more consistent, way more standard. So bigger's not better here. I always try to think, what do you guys really need? What do contractors need? Well, remember, 90% of our applications for impact drivers small to medium sized fasteners. Things like deck screws, timber lock fasteners. Personally, as a builder and remodeling contractor, 
I'm doing 90% of that fasting. And so here's some of the things that I use. <clears throat> I did some research. Number nine, three inch deck screws, 40 inch per pounds. Quarter inch by three lag bolts, 53 inch per pounds. Three quarter by three lag bolts, 160 inch per pounds. Number 10, 16 by three quarter tech screw, 10 inch per pounds. And a 5 16 bolt, 324 inch per pounds. Not even close to 450 yet, guys. So what about that other 10%, the other 10% of the guys, guys that are using, users that perform hard joint fastening like lug nuts or six inch vitalic, you know, water pipe and sprinkler accessories. Well, they would be better served with an impact wrench. And you know, Todd Fratzel, my partner, always says, it seems like everybody wants to put a socket wrench on an impact driver and go to town. Well, that's not really the proper application, is it? No, it's not. If you're doing bolts and lug nuts and stuff, you really want an impact wrench, not an impact driver. You're gonna wear your tool out way faster than it should be. So the question is, why not make the new surge with 18 inch per pounds of torque, right? It's bigger is better. The answer is simple. The tool would have to be larger and heavier, and that goes completely against what we preach you here, and also what you guys have been asking for all along. <clears throat> you want compact, lighter weight, more powerful tools. The surge is lighter, quieter, and equal driving power, if not for most, if not all of the fastening that we encounter. So it's pretty impressive. Let's talk a little bit about cost. In the end, all said, all said and done, the surge is gonna cost you about $20 upcharge than that standard impact driver. It's about 149, $149 bucks for a bare tool, $249 for a CP kit, and $329 for an XC kit. Um, I guess for me, I, I prefer working smarter, and that means using the right tool for the right application. You know, Lighter, quieter, less vibration, that all makes sense to me. Ultimately, the construction industry is gonna to have to bear the burden of our hearing loss due to our exposure to noise. But if you work in construction, guys are in the trades now, don't wait. Take the steps now and purchase the best noise protection devices that you can buy. Hearing protection, all of that stuff. And use the best tools that you can afford. Work smarter and protect yourself no matter how loud it gets at work. I'm Rob Robillard. Please subscribe to this channel and check out the full article at Concord Carpenter and at ToolboxBuzz.com. We wrote them on both sites, guys, because this is a really cool tool. You need to check it out. See you later.